Quick disclaimer guys, before you apply any sort of tweaks, always make sure to create a system restore point. That is super important and now let's go. And for this first step guys, I'm about to show you how you can fully disable Windows updates. What you gotta do is basically open up a normal file on your desktop, like a notepad, and then paste in the following comment from the video description guys. This is basically a very easy bad comment which we're gonna create now, which is gonna fully disable Windows updates on any PC. Just simply drag in there the script, which you can find in the video description. I mean, you can just see that it's gonna put the Windows updates that type to disabled and all of that and then just simply go under save as and you're gonna name it something like windows update or disable windows updates however you guys want to call it and then dot bad on the end guys that is super important so that we actually have a bad file which we can run on our pc then all you gotta do is save it real quick and then you already have it on your pc right click onto it and launch it as administrator and then once you click under yes you can then see that windows update services are fully disabled what we're going to use now guys is a tool called snappy driver installer this one is going to help you out to basically update your network driver on any sort of network card. It doesn't matter if you use Realtek or Intel or whatever guys, just simply get the latest version as shown here right now on screen. And then once you get it, just simply open up the folder and make sure to create a new folder on your desktop, which you're gonna name Snappy Driver or however you guys want. Then drag everything from the download into this file. Then you're gonna open it up and in there now we have a bunch of access but we actually want to click onto the SDIO auto bat. Right click onto it and run it as administrator. Once you're in the tool you gotta accept the terms and then it's going to ask you if you want to give it permission. Of course yes. And then we have the snappy driver installer origin window and you want to click under download indexes only guys. That way it's going to give you an updated list of every single driver which can be updated on your PC. All you gotta do is just simply wait for it to load real quick and then it's gonna give you this whole updated list. And now to check exactly which network driver you have, you're gonna open up your task manager and then just simply go under network and then you can see on the top right, it says for me, Realtek PC GB family controller. So therefore I know this is the one which I have to update. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just simply gonna search it up in this list and there we already got it. Realtek PC GB family controller, updated driver available. What you gotta do is click onto the main one, not the ones which are underneath guys and link to it. And once you get it checked guys, all you gotta do is click basically under install on the top left which you can see in this red area it says install one click onto it and then you can see downloading and installing now just simply let the tool finish it and afterwards it's going to showcase you in green that the update has been successful and you're already chilling and good to go the next time you restart your snappy driver you can also see that it's not available in the list anymore so therefore the update was successful for this next step guys i would recommend you a gaming vpn and gear booster you can actually try it for absolutely free with the link in the video description guys you get a free day trial version it supports all of your favorite games and what we're actually going to do is select Fortnite and then you can see my ping is actually being improved by already two milliseconds here. JetBooster is basically going to select the best VPN servers in your near, making sure that you have the least amount of ping. You even have a packet loss protection service which is also really nice especially if you're struggling with that. So therefore you can try it out as mentioned with my link in the video description for absolutely free. There is no payment guys. All you got to do is select of course the right region. I see tons of people not selecting this here correctly. If you're on NA Central of course that one. And then it's going to showcase you all the servers in your near, selecting the one which is obviously the one with the least amount of ping. Just simply let it run in the background, hop into Fortnite and check it out for yourself. And for this next step guys, I'm about to show you how you can actually properly set up your network adapter. Just let me type in network into your Windows search bar until you can find view network connections. Then in there you should see which connection you have guys. For me it's Ethernet one. Go into properties and then you can see Realtek PC GB Family Controller configuration. Just simply click onto it and you have this new window. In here now, we're going to click on advanced and there we have all the property settings. Advanced EE, you gotta put on disabled. APR offload on disabled as well. Auto disable gigabit, you're also gonna put on disabled. Energy efficiency ethernet as well on disabled. Flow control as well on disabled. Gigabyte light as well on disabled and green ethernet as well on disabled. Then interrupt moderation, you're gonna put on disabled as well. IPv4 checksum offload on disabled. Jumbo frame, you're gonna put on disabled. Large send offload, you're as well gonna put on disabled, guys. The same as well with the IPv6 version. Maximum number of RSS queues basically comes down to your CPU. If you have four cores or more, you're gonna put it on four queues. If you're still running a dual core CPU, you of course have to put it on two queues. But as mentioned, for most of you, it's probably gonna be four queues, so therefore just simply leave it on that. Then next up, NS offload, you're gonna put on disabled again, guys. Power saving mode, of course, as well onto disabled. You don't want to have this letting run in the background. Priority and VLAN, you're going to put to priority and VLAN enabled. Super important. Receive buffers, you're going to keep on the highest value possible. For me, it's 1024. Receive side scaling, you're going to keep on enabled. Shut down, wake up on LAN on disabled and speed and then TCP checksum offload, IPv4 and v6, you're going to leave on RX and TX enabled, both of them. Transmitting buffers, you're going to keep on the highest value again possible. 
UDP checksum offload IPv4 you're gonna put on disabled and the same as well with IPv6. And the next up, wake up on magic packet on disabled and the system version as well on disabled. Wake up on pattern match you're gonna keep on disabled as well. And shut down link speed you're gonna keep on nerd speed down. Once you're done with that, you're just simply gonna click under OK guys and everything is fully set up. You're already chilling. Next up guys, we're gonna be utilizing TCP Optimizer. You can get it from the official website, link to it in the video description guys. And there you're gonna get TCP Optimizer 4, which is the latest version. Once you got it, just simply drag it onto your desktop and then you can see the Excel, right click onto it and run it as administrator. It's gonna load for a few seconds and then we have this window here. Just basically make sure that you select the right GB family controller. Then what you gotta do is click under custom on the bottom and drag your connection speed all the way to the right side to the highest even if your network cannot support it. And we have TCP window auto tuning. What you gotta do is leave it on normal. Window scaling, you're gonna keep on disabled and then change congestion control provider to the settings which I enabled guys. Just simply copy everything which I do here. Then your TTL, you're gonna put to 64. ECN capability on enabled. Checksum offload, you're gonna put on disabled. ECP chimney offload on disabled as well. And the same as well with LSO. Then you're gonna put your TCP 1323 timestamps to enabled and you're chilling and can continue to advanced settings. Once you're in here now guys, you wanna again copy all of my settings. Then for your Internet Explorer optimization settings, you're just only gonna copy again what I got here guys. You're gonna keep it on 10 and then the maximum connection per server on 10 as well. Then your host resolution priority is basically just a tier list. So therefore you're gonna put your local priority on four and five six and seven guys just simply number it through then for your retransmission settings you're gonna copy as well everything which i did here the same as well with your rto this one you're gonna put on 2000 and the minimum one on 300 then your type quality of service you're gonna keep on zero and do not use nla you're gonna put on optimal one and now the most important one guys gaming tweak network throttling index network throttling index you're gonna keep on disabled and then this hexadecimal number then your system responsiveness you're gonna keep on gaming zero super important the next up gaming tweak display algorithm you're gonna keep on default for all three of them and network memory allocation on enabled one and the size you're also gonna put to optimized three and for your dynamic port allocation you're gonna copy exactly what i got here which is 65534 and your TCP timed wait delay you're gonna keep on 30. And once you're done with everything guys, you're gonna make sure to click under apply changes and when it's going to ask you, you're gonna also check backup guys, super important. And you can see it's gonna ask you for a system restart to basically apply all of these settings and you're already chilling and good to go. And finally guys, I wanna talk about one of the most obvious reasons why you're probably getting high ping or packet loss, which is playing on Wi-Fi, especially if your router is maybe super far away from your PC, you should always try to use a LAN cable guys. And if that's not possible because of the layout of your house, don't be worried. You can use the same thing which I use, which is called DLAN, which is basically a LAN port over the power line of your house, guys. So for me, I just put one of these DLAN adapters next to my PC and plug it into the power socket, and then one of them actually next to my router, and then I connect the router to the DLAN adapter, and that way I have a DLAN connection, which is a lot more stable than just Wi-Fi and is gonna give you probably the best possible ping which you can get with the constellation that your router is super far away. If you enjoyed these videos, don't forget to check out the two right now on screen, which are going to help you out to optimize your Windows PC even more for gaming.